Well, hi friends, I am in my kitchen and I am sharing with you my Christmas decorating for the season of 2022. So I love it very simple in the kitchen, very thrifty, pretty minimal. It's a very used place, the heart of the home. I wanted to make it cute, still functional with some real green, some faux green, some pine cones, and just some very um, cute touches that my girls will love to look at and see and just things that I will enjoy for this season and into the winter. So I always start with my three little shelves that are on the corner just like right over there. I change those out for every season. They were actually a place we really considered knocking out, but I'm so glad we left them. It's a fun place to put some of my ironstone on, which I have with some faux greens and um, a cute little um, brush tree. And just on the next level, I found this really adorable Korea and Ives gravy boat antiquing for $3 that I had to put out for this season. And of course, they're practical because it's usable. And I just leave it pretty simple and pretty much the same, I guess, for all seasons other than adding some greens and um, that little tree. And then I move to my counters. So counter space, I say this every time, is very important to me. We have our butcher block countertop and it is used so very often. And so I wanna make sure I don't have a lot of clutter on my counter, but I still wanna add a few um, cozy Christmas touches. So by um, just like right over there, I have this old vintage scale that I have had for several years now, thrifted of course. And I found this really cute Korean arms plate that I've had for one for every season I found thrifted. Added this little flocked tree. If you saw my cottage Christmas decorating, I found that at a friend's store for I think it was five dollars and um, just bought that. Just thought it'd be an adorable little piece to add here and at our cottage. And some faux greens and a pine cone on top of that scale, and of course some fairy lights. I use those throughout my home in the little vignettes and areas that I have. And then um, my sourdough starter has to be out on the counter, of course, because it's practical and I use it a lot. So then I always use my KitchenAid mixer. I feel like now that I have it out on my counter, so just those extra pieces next to it with some real greens this time, some oranges, cause that's very Christmassy, that type of fruit, and some natural decor in my old bowl that I have that I love having out with fresh fruit. And my cookies and my coffee. So if you saw my decorate with me, I have these red and white plates that I used out in my living area. And I thought I'd bring that in here because I have a few little ones um, just to add just a little bit of red touch in here. I do a lot more blues in my kitchen, blue and white and cream, but to have a little red, I thought that'd be kind of fun to have there and some butterscotch cookies on that little plate for any snacking, any guests, and also just for display for you guys. The little vintage Christmas tree cloth that I have underneath, I use that on our table and there. I think that's so adorable to add, to add a nice cute vintage touch to the counter space there and make it a little bit cozier underneath those cookies. I use my diffuser all the time, so I just leave that out, my hand soap, um, and then up here, I have a faux greens that I thought I would hang, and I use a lot of ribbon throughout my house too. It's just a cute practical touch, and um, very simple to just throw a ribbon around something. And then I just put a little bit of real green and a little brush tree over by my knife set. And I always love the candles this time of year, so I make my own beeswax candles or I bought some of the tall stem ones off of Amazon. So anything I may have gotten from Amazon, I will try the link below, because some of those bottle brush trees I got are from Amazon, and that might be it, actually. And I guess maybe where I get like my beeswax melts and stuff like that. And then over by the stove, I said I have my candle, and then just a ribbon around a cutting board. So simple. So just nice little classic touch. And I found this hearth in hand a tea towel or sack towel 
from our bin store on Dollar Day. So I was excited to put that out, get it ironed and hung up. I am loving my table display. So I like to use greens, like I said, and some eucalyptus mixed in as well, and pine cones, just like a very natural element, and orange slices, because that's just, to me, that's very practical, affordable, thrifty, and this old basin bowl that I found at a garage sale for 50 cents. I thought, okay, I'm gonna use that this year because it's got a little bit of red with the white on it and put some fairy lights in there, put a little bottle brush tree in there and I'm just enjoying looking at it and seeing it on the table and I know my girls are going to enjoy it too. So I like to have lights in here and so back there over our patio door windows, sliding glass doors, I have this garland that I get from Walmart. So I had to use two. It's just so real looking to me until you get a little closer. But I like having the pine cones hanging on it and then the Christmas lights and just that cozy factor. When the lights are off, how it just brightens up this space. And over on a little espresso coffee station along with our water filter, um, I have an apron hanging on our hooks there, another one of these little hanging greens with a ribbon around it, and a few little old vintage looking Christmas bells. Now a spot that I don't often show you is by our fridge. I hung two stockings, my cream stockings that I use every year that many of you like and enjoy. I put some faux greens in there with some eucalyptus and just tacked them up with some nails or command hooks. I can't remember what I did there. And just think that's such a cute little factor under our clock next to our fridge. So a lot of these items, like I said, are thrifted and a few from Amazon, but nothing bought new this year other than that little flocked tree by our scale. It's so nice to be able to add just simple touches of greens that I clipped from our neighbor's tree and adding full greens with some ribbon, some oranges, just the very natural elements that are still cozy, um, inviting, kitcheny. I just really love having those touches in my kitchen. And I do keep it quite neutral in my home. This is what I enjoy and you need to decorate with what you enjoy. So you'll get to see my home tour, the rest of my decorating throughout the season here. This is just a start of what I have for now, and I hope you're enjoying watching some of my Christmas decorating, how I've been decorating this year. It's always so fun to change out for every season, but I think this is honestly my favorite time of year to decorate for. And anyways, I am so glad you are here. Don't forget to like, subscribe if you are new, share the videos if you enjoy these, or you have friends who you think will enjoy these. I hope you're having a blessed and wonderful day, friends, and I'll talk with you in the next one.